All right, haul and tail this morning. You gotta come up to the trailer and do the old tire kick. Make sure they're not completely flat. So running behind, go get this car. We got some diesel fuel already, gassed up. And uh, now we're gonna hit the ATM, grab Chris some more cash. Chris Moore, that's his last name. <laughs> I was saying more cash. We're gonna grab Chris Moore, more cash. Uh, I messed up and got busy Friday putting the Tahoe together and did not go to the bank before they closed. So I had to hit the bank last night. $800 daily limit on our performance account. Uh, normal daily limit's 500 for like most people's stuff. Uh, it was supposed to be 15, but for some reason that ATM's only 800. So hit it again this morning for 800 and uh, that'll make us 1600. And then I got more cash at the house uh, to finish uh, paying this bill. And then I also gave him uh, some money down on the job. So we should be paid up. Uh, we should have enough cash floating around to uh, pay everything up. I got the trailer. Uh, I think the wife and Harper is actually gonna ride. So uh, let's go get some cash and uh, get to the house, grab them and get up the road. So Harper uh, is doing pretty decent. Harper, you doing decent? She come with me. Uh, the wife also come with us to uh, pick this car up this morning. So I wasn't riding alone. So we just got into uh, Whiteville. If you are a local, you have to say Whiteville and not Whiteville. They actually say Whiteville. Whiteville. It's like all one word. Say oh Harper. So we, uh, about two miles from Chris's house, we're gonna grab his car, get this thing loaded up, check his workout. I'm not holding him up because he's going to dig or dive and try to get back on the road, grab some food, give Harper a little bit of a break to run around and uh, stretch her feet because she does not like being contained or locked into uh, any car seat or uh, locked down. We're gonna get this thing uh, loaded up real fast. On the trailer, Chris did an amazing job with it. So we're gonna get it out of here, get her stuck back on the trailer and get back to Wilmington. Harper's done found the puppy out there. She wants to play with the puppy. So while she's puppy playing, we're gonna get Percy back on her trailer and back to her house. Grab some good old McDonald's and Harper found this table with lights on it. Harper touched the lights. And they changed the color whenever you touch them. I have never even seen that like this. I normally don't go in McDonald's, so she's gonna have a blast. We're gonna down a biscuit and then get back on the road. Well, we hit a uh, rainstorm. Very glad that I got a street car. I had a couple people question if it's really a street car, and I promise you that it's such a street car that I am not worried at one bit of it being back there on the trailer in the rain. Whereas most people that have actual race cars would be flipping crap right now because the car is probably filling full of water and leaking everywhere when this car has all of its weather stripping and everything in it like it's supposed to and uh street car either has a radiator and we're gonna drive it on the road So there's not a ton to show on this thing. Um, you know, we'll take a look at it, but a lot of the wiring, you know, it's just not really where you can show. I mean, he put the new battery in there, looks like, and he hasn't, when we went, we kind of got in and out fast of the batteries in there. 
looks like he utilized um, my control panel on my board that was already there. You know, he reran some of my wiring that was there. He did all of the fuel pump and the wires ran down nice and neat and it runs back there. It looks like it runs around. Uh, he's got the fan all wired up where it works. Uh, he showed me all of that at the house. I mean, I'm not gonna turn it on right now, but all them wires run back uh, and they tie to my wiring. So a lot of his wiring, he kind of tied it back to where I had already ran wiring to just keep it, keep it the same. Um, let's see here. And we just kind of chunk some stuff in here, but I mean, it's, it's super clean. I mean, I like it. You know, he mounted our coal drivers up here, nice and neat out of the way. So they're riveted to the firewall, nice and secure. So they don't have to go nowhere. So like that, um, you know, everything's plugged in. This is all just the Holly harness, uh, that you get from the, you know, from the factory when you order it from Holly. So a USB cord, which I'm going to probably maybe extend that or move that. I don't know. I might just leave it, but yeah, I mean, he's, it's nice and neat, man. Like all of this right here, he added, you know, these are our inputs and outputs. So they're all wire loomed up and then they run up here into the console. Nice and neat. Cause we got stuff up here. Uh, that's the power wire that I had already ran. You can see where me and Mike burnt our car, my carpet when we did our four link, you know, and then I've got the power wire ran underneath there. So I had already done that. Um, let's see here. A lot of that stuff, I think, let's see here. This was my wiring. That's his new, some of that's his new wiring. Uh, we've got these lines where they come out right here. So he's got them all tapped down. Everything's nice and neat out of the way where it's not gonna get messed up, runs through there underneath the car. So that's all super clean, super happy with it. I'm very happy with it. I mean, this is not no uh, Devon wiring, but uh, you know, I'm very happy with Chris's work. It looks very good. It's very clean. It's very affordable. Um, you know, I have absolutely no complaints. I was checking in here just to make sure the other cow panel's not leaking because it's sitting out here in the rain and I didn't have time to do the other cow panel still. So it looks like he's ran some wires up here. I mean, everything's tucked back, uh, really nice. So no complaints at all from me. I'm very happy, uh, with it. So he showed me everything worked and at his house, uh, he ran through all the fuel pump, the water pump, you know, the radiator fans, uh, trans fans. So I don't know. I'm very, very happy with his work. Uh, and I hate, I hate to pull all this stuff out for y'all, but I'm going to do it. So I chunked this stuff in here cause it was raining whenever I dropped the trailer. Like I literally just threw it kind of all in here. This is some new wiring that runs right here up through the carpet. So everything's clean looks good this is uh something holly whatever that is i don't even know what that is i don't know how half of this freaking stuff is um but yeah i mean just he tied in you know all of his we tied in this side if you remember to our switch panel up there and then he did take it and yeah. rearrange the order that i had them in because i just had them random i didn't even have time to you know put them in exact order yet but he rearranged them so that they're you know, basically left to right is the same as left to right when you're looking on here. So little details like that to make it easier. And he has everything drawn out on paper. Everything is, uh, you know, laid out. There's a blueprint of all the wiring. So all of that, uh, he took the time to do all of that also. Um, but he added some more hots. It looks like, you know, these are all his wires that run off, run around through there. And then, yeah, he just overlaid a lot of stuff with my stuff. I mean, you know, I'm sure if he was to do this from scratch, he'd probably do it different, uh, possibly. But, I mean, I had already did, you know, some of it. So, he just kind of copied and flowed his wiring with my wiring, um, you know, out of the back of here. I already had that done, but he tied that in because I did not know what I was doing. So, he come in here and did all of this. I did have them bars, if you remember, that we put in in another uh, video. We put them in. This is originally the items that john recommended to tie all your you know hots and grounds in with and i went with a different one um because i just liked the way the other one looked but then when chris went to lay this out 
you know, uh, he said room wise, he needed a little more room. So he switched over to these and gave me mine back. Uh, perfectly fine. There's no difference at all. Uh, that's the type of stuff that I knew was going to happen whenever you go to, um, change this kind of stuff up you know when somebody goes and actually wires it compares to like me doing it you know i don't really know what i'm doing is you, you would have to make some changes and i knew that was going to happen so pretty much all of this wiring a lot of this is still my stuff you know he's got it zip tied up up here nice and neat uh he's got my usb right here off the dash nice and neat where it's hanging so i'm very happy very very happy i'm very glad i went with chris uh because anybody else you know would have been an arm and a leg to stick some wires in the car i mean like devin's work is absolutely amazing it's top notch you can't get anything better than devin's work pretty much anywhere but um i don't want the debt of devin's work i'm not gonna say i can't afford devin's work uh because i can put anything on credit and pay on anything just like y'all can but i don't want to um be putting a bunch of money in freaking wiring you know and having that bill that big bill looming over my head so, i mean this works out like literally perfect for me um perfect just i'm over the top happy with uh chris's work i'm uh happy that randy recommended him to me now the deal with chris so some of y'all know is that he likes helping people out he said and um i'm the 19th car he wired uh he also said but he does not want to turn this into a job. So he has no interest turning this in a job. He works 50 hours a week, he said, uh, on the computer doing um, what his stuff is, his uh, personal life. And he has absolutely zero interest in turning wiring into a job. So it's not gonna be like one of the things where I'm gonna drop his phone number or his contact information because he just does not want to go there uh, with this. So he does this for like people that he knows, you know, helps out. You know, basically, I'm guessing that Randy hit him up and I kind of got in through Randy. Um, but, I mean, he's got a race car. He works 50 hours a week, so he just doesn't have the time nor the desire. But, yeah, a little update for y'all, um, you know, and I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm glad we're past this stage. So, I'm glad the wiring is finally done. Um, we cannot crank it yet because me and Mike still have to do the torque converter and the flywheel and reluctor wheel, fix the mid plate, um, you know, uh, hook some sensors up on the back of the motor that we cannot hook up at the moment because the mid plate is in the way, it needs to be clearanced, and then it has to go to Jason for uh, headers. So it is going to Jason, let's see here, uh, next weekend. So we have it for one week and then we take it to Jason for headers after jason's done with it the next stop is gonna make his tkm for tuning now how fast will it go to tkm for tuning i don't know we have to get on their schedule uh when jason's um, probably almost done or when he finishes up i'll probably go ahead and get on tkm schedule and that'll give me a week or two to wrap up um our little stuff me and mike are going to try to get this car into the shop in this coming week um and knock out the transmission stuff so that we can move forward with first startup but we do have to do some welding on the rear end. Besides that, like we're gonna keep this thing moving and uh, y'all hang in there, be patient, and we will get this thing wrapped up soon, hopefully, and we make it some passes.